So welcome back peeps to another vlog. Let me get you up to speed with where I'm at with the New Zealand series. I'm still here on the west coast. I'm here in Fox River where I've just been relaxing as I end out the road trip. From Christchurch to the stunning Mount Cook, the adventure capital of New Zealand, Queenstown. The rather wet conditions in Milford Sound, however it is still so, so spectacular. The wonderful Wanaka, the glorious Franz Joseph Glacier, and I'm here to end out the roadie in Fox River. So let's get back into it, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, peeps. And what a spectacular day it is. And what an awesome view to be waking up to. Ooh, the waves are crashing constantly. It's relaxing and it's peaceful. But we are hitting the roads today, so let's go. day here on the west coast I have driven myself about an hour from Fox River to Cape Felwind I'm about to wander myself up that away to check out the seal colony so let's go intro down there it started to get a little bit cold so I chucked on my little jacket it says it's only a 15 minute walk to see the seals so definitely doable oh it looks beautiful beautiful beach along here on the west coast. Six species are bred there. Make sure you pop your little eyes in there because you'll get a really good look, close up look of the little birdies. So I just checked out the seal colony. Yeah, I spotted me a couple of little seals, took me a couple of little photos, and I've decided to take myself the extra distance. It says it was about an hour and a quarter to get to the lighthouse, so let's go. Okay, so I was going to walk the hour and 15 that it said to do, which I'm not opposed to, but I did hear a hot tip. The hot tip is there's actually a car park over there, so I think I might actually drive. And the reason I'm going to drive is I can see the lighthouse right here. Do I want to walk? I would normally like to walk but because I know there may be a faster way in there I'm going to take my car and I'm going to drive there because all I want to do is snap a photo <laughs> with the lighthouse and then I want to get back to my beautiful accommodation but this is the lighthouse from where I'm standing and it looks like it might be a fair distance away so the lighthouse is way over there looks like you have to climb that walk right around I think I might actually try my luck with the car park. Yeah. 
I have made it to the Cape Bellwind car park. Now, I'm not too sure if you can spot it, but the lighthouse is right there. So the hot tip has paid off. So if I can give you any hot tip, if you want to just go to see the seals, go and park at the Tauranga Bay car park. It's only a 15 minute walk to see the seals. If you want to see the lighthouse, come to the other car park because you're going to have to walk a gazillion miles to see the seals. So that's the hot tip. There's two car parks, one for the lighthouse, one for the seals. If you want to do them both, just drive between the two, unless you want to be enthusiastic and walk there and back. Anyway, I'm going to pop up and see the lighthouse. Let's go. Okay, that's a little bit more doable. 15 minutes, 500 metres of this away. The views ain't bad. There's the car park. And I think that the lighthouse is just over that corner there. Guiding light. In the early days when the lighthouse was staffed, the Cape was quite an isolated place to be. The lighthouse keeper and assistants lived in houses nearby. A few traces of these buildings can still be seen near the original tower foundations. Okay, so I'm going to give you a hot tip if you're going to come to the Cape Fell Wind Lighthouse. See that sign there? It says walkway. Up there, up that little hill, up that little hill there, will take you to a pretty good lookout. But if we swing around here, see that walkway? Just go up there. Don't go anywhere else. Don't go up that way. That is about the best place you're going to get the best view of the lighthouse because you really can't see it if you're going to follow the walkway. Um, so that's my hot tip for you. If you just come to see the lighthouse, take yourself up there. Don't go up the walkway there because you're not going to get a very good view of the lighthouse. Okay, so it is finally time for me to say goodbye to the humble abode that I've been staying in for the last three nights here in Fox River. It was absolutely beautiful. I literally spent most of my time just hanging out here on the deck in that bath, checking out this beautiful scenery. Anyway, I'm heading my way back to Christchurch this vlog is not over yet so let's go so i am heading my way back to christchurch 10 minutes up the road from the accommodation is the truman track it says it only takes 15 minutes and you're presented to a beautiful coastline and apparently there's a waterfall so let's go check it out nice little wee walk in Looks like I can see the coastline. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's not bad, peeps. It's not bad. Ooh, okay. I don't know where the waterfall is, but this is the view from the Truman Track. Let's go down a little bit further. Okay, it literally looks like you can actually go down onto the beach. So let's go and check her out. Oh no, you can't go down on the beach. Because look, there's an ending. Danger. So we won't be going to the end, but anyway. Truman Track 
and I guess I have had perfect timing because right where I'm standing you generally wouldn't be able to stand here because the tide actually comes all the way up and you're not actually able to see this spectacular view but where I'm standing I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what I am seeing right now so watch it in high tide because you literally can't come down and I've been watching those waves the waves will be coming in mighty quick so I did venture down there not too far but um, you wouldn't normally be able to see this peeps okay so I made it to the end of the Truman track it was a beautiful tree lined canopy forest walk you're then presented with this beautiful coastline so if you want to do it for the little forest walk you might spot yourself a couple of little birds but there are so many nook and crannies along the west coast that you could literally just pull your car in on the side of the road and take in any spectacular coastal view along the way but anyway came here it only took 15 minutes heading back to the car to stop for my next pit stop where will that be yeah i'm on my way now okay so i am no longer on the west coast i have driven about two hours driving through arthur's pass i did stop for coffee um, and I have stopped here at the Viaduct Lookout and this is the view, Pete. So I have made it to Devil's Punch Bowl Walk it says it's only 30 minutes come on i can do this 30 minutes it will take me longer but anyway let's go okay literally two minutes in i think that's the waterfall that i'm walking to that's where i was two minutes later and we have the waterfall i think that's the one that i'm walking to this is the Beely swing bridge bridge number one there's two bridges before you get to the waterfalls and this is bridge number one. Bridge number two. A few little stairs to tackle on the way up. Okay, so be prepared for a lot of stairs coming up. I seem to be going downhill now and I have run into a few people who have said the waterfall is absolutely spectacular. I wasn't expecting anything other than that anyway, but we're going down now and I can hear the waterfall so I think I'm just about there. A little bit of a waterfall vibe happening, but no, more stairs, more stairs. <laughs> is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights okay i just have to really stop really randomly on the side of the road because wow this place is bloody amazing this is after the park Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling. Down. Okay, so I finished the Devil's Punch Bowl waterfalls for I don't know about an hour ago. I've been driving through this beautiful Arthur's Pass 
I'm about an hour's drive out of Christchurch and I seen this stop, Castle Hill. Oh my god, it is absolutely spectacular. So I had to stop. So we're heading up this way. There's a pathway. It says it's a 45 minute walk there and back. But check out these views, peeps. Check out these views. Come on, it's like far out, Brussels sprout. It's like yeah, it looks absolutely spectacular. So definitely you gotta come and check this spot out. I haven't made it up to the top yet, but it's looking uh, pretty spectacular from where I am. made it to Christchurch peeps yes it was a long day Fox River to Christchurch made it to my final destination 3,111 kilometers traveled in the last 22 days this will finalize out this vlog there will be one more to come which is basically just a recap of my whole New Zealand itinerary accommodation expenses what i liked what i didn't like i will link the new zealand series up here and as usual peeps if you have liked this video why don't you give me a like and a thumbs up why don't you hit subscribe to my channel absolutely go ahead subscribe today um and i will spot you in the next video peeps boo yeah <laughs>